Scrappy Peeps, Susanna here today for Ellie Studio, and I am sharing with you a layout with the purpose of um, primarily using that stamp set there, which is the uh, Fun with Borders stamp. So you can see I have a larger photo. Um, it is going there on the left-hand side, and I'm just using two pieces of pattern paper, just these two. So that rainbow stripe there, and then the um, craft that is behind that currently. Um, and it takes me a while to figure out how I want to make this work. I thought I wanted to have that torn rainbow edge that was going to then be connected by bits and pieces. Um, but it kind of was a weird look. Um, and so what I had originally set out to do then changed. Um, and so I am going to use the stamp set to create a continuation of that horizontal that is started by the rainbow. Um, and that is going to provide a foundation for um, journaling, quote unquote. Only I don't end up journaling really on the layout because I fill all of the lines that I have created. Um, but there could be journaling that goes underneath the photo or on the back of the page if I were to decide to add anything else to this. So the digital elements or some of the digital elements this month are actually based on the stamps. And so I used the patterned paper that came with this month's release um, to cut out a few of those digitals. Um, so I cut out the hearts, which mimics one of the stamps. And then I cut out that scalloped border, which also mimics one of the stamps. And so what I'm going to do here, now that I've finally figured out, it, it took ridiculous long amount of time how I was going to set up the um, or the full layout I have these two layers you can see the color poking out of the right hand side of the photo and then I'm going to continue each of those colors across the page but I want to have a foundation for that and kind of and have a finish on the right hand side of the page for that so to create that finish I'm going to use this stamp here so it's what I'm calling the um, lined border. So it's like what would be on a notepad. And I'm going to stamp that all the way down the page. And I'm intentionally stamping it offset a little bit each time, offset to the right or offset to the left and sort of alternating. Um, and I'm doing it intentionally because I know for a fact that there is no way I'm going to be able to line that up the whole way down the page. Um, and so in order to just um, avoid any frustration, I have intentionally offset at it. Um, I also add, like this touch of whimsy that that adds to it. So I am also going to apologize that this video is a little bit longer than my normal videos are, but literally there are 14 stamps, I believe, in this stamp set. Um, and you can see that rainbow of colors that I have there. I want to say there are also 14 different colors. Um, and so literally each time I use a stamp, I have to clean it off and I put a different color on there. Um, so some of these are the vellum stickers that I am using. Some of these, uh, that blue, that navy is just a piece of the pattern paper. So I lied, I didn't use two, I used three because that is just a, um, a strip of what also is based on the stamp set or maybe the stamp set was used to create this digitally. Um, but that is the dot, 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 heart solid line. Um, and that is also a stamp. And um, so now I've kind of got a foundation of heavy things that are, and by heavy I mean darker. Um, so they're not as opaque as what stamping gives you. Uh, and so I've stuck those down and now I'm gonna work other color into that. So again, the idea is working red all the way across the red line, pink all the way across the pink line. And I will intermix a few of them, um, but not much and usually only up a color or down a color. I have used some of the elements from the die cuts, like that banner there. And I like that that banner um, actually splits and works between, I'm gonna actually flip it um, so that the dark side is up. And I'm going to trace the die cut hearts out of the Good Times paper stack with corresponding colors. Again, um, I like that it gives me more pattern variety uh, as well as, um, adding more variety of hearts of that repeated shape down the side there. Um, so I'm literally just gonna trace them and fussy cut them out. Uh, and I will end up using all four of those hearts there. 
So um, this stamp set is one of many border stamp sets uh, that Ellie's Studio has released. This is just the latest one. Uh, I do a lot of stamping with Ellie's Studio stamps. I love them um, because they're generic, i.e. you have hearts and you have um, generic phrases like document and things like that that you can use on any layout. It's not like a cat lady stamp where um, it's only relevant if you have cats um, or like cats. Uh, and so I will tell you, I have used this stamp set. I think I've created six layouts. One of them is a double page spread. Um, and all six of those layouts have used this stamp set in some way, shape, or form. In fact, I've used it even on non le Studio based layouts that I've created um, since it has arrived. So a very, very well loved stamp set and one that I highly recommend. Um, it just has so many purposes. You could outline a whole page with it or stamp a border around a whole page with it. You could put borders around photos um, with this stamp set as well as a journaling spot as you've seen there. I actually use it for a journaling spot on the double page layout as well as to create a footer on my page. So um, I, I moved it, but I um, have tested out literally each color that goes with each, right there. Um, and so I, if you go head over to the Ellie Studio blog, um, you can actually see what inks I recommended. So there's a mix of, there's one VersaFine, some Catherine Pooler, um, some photo, no, Pink Fresh, um, some Paper Person, and some distressed oxides. Now, I know there are other combinations, but um, I was really particular about getting it to match as close as I absolutely could, and so these were the ones that I tested from, obviously, a lot of, lot of inks. Um, so that's over on the LA Studio blog if you're interested in that. So the stamp that I've just used is the Multi Dots, um, and you'll see that a lot in Ellie's um, product and uh, I really like that because it provides a nice place to house other things. It's one that you can overlap really really nicely uh, to provide some depth to images per se. Um, this particular stamp here is the dot 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 heart solid line. Um, it's the one that mimics that navy. There's also a dot 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 heart solid and uh, heart star solid line. So same thing as this, but with the star. I believe that's the only one that I did not use on this layout, but only because I had already used the heart. Um, and they're so teeny tiny that with the colors, it's actually hard to distinguish the heart from the star. Um, and so I, honestly, it was probably sheer laziness that I didn't use the star one, knowing that I had used the heart one with repetition so much. Um, but what I like about repetition, especially in this particular format, is that that repetition gives you, um, it gives you some consistency through the page so that it isn't just something different. Having that consistency ties it all together. It's like putting a little bow and wrapping it and calling it done and finished. Um, so that's why I have the repetition of the hearts as well as the repetition of that particular stamp, even though it is in different colors there. Um, so I will link you to this stamp set down below. I will also link you to the blog post uh, down below so that you can see what inks it is that I'm using. So this is a Distress Oxide. This is, uh, what is this one? This is Salty Ocean because um, it's that really, really bright. No, that is Tumble Glass. I'm sorry. Um, the, the really, really bright one is Salty Ocean. So um, once I do this, that you can see the foundation of color, but it's very, um, I'm going to go with predictable. There's nothing that pops out at you. Uh, and so I'm going to add some other elements from the kit to this in order to add some visual interest. I want some dimension as well, so you can see those puffy borders. I'm going to use those as well as uh, just a few of the, the, teeny, the tiny shapes and dots. I'm going to use the stars because I've already got the hearts that I've used from the kit there just to add, again, stay consistent but add some different colors. Um, to the layout there. So pardon my big old head that you've probably seen a million times now, but like I said, this is a much, much longer video than I would normally create because of the cleaning of the stamps and the number of stamps that I actually use. Um, I have 
also used on this, um, oh, that uh, pink is the darker, not pink, the darker purple that I'm going to stamp in is a Jane, Daven Jane Davenport. I, um, so that purple color is really hard to find, um, but I do really like the Jane Davenport, and I picked that up a Tuesday morning. I think you might be able to get it at Michael's, because I know Michael's sells um, Jane Davenport goodies there. Um, so literally all of the stamps except for one is used, and I have explained why. Um, one of the other stamps that I use is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and above that, the only journaling that is on the page is actually all day. I didn't circle any of them, um, but you could use it to date things. Um, another stamp uh, that I stamped in that lighter purple there, it says favorite, so much fun, and remember, and there's actually a vellum sticker that has those same three phrases. Each one is in a different color. Um, what other stamp is there? There is, uh, there's the border with the hearts that I've got the red die cut from. There's the border with the stars, which would be great for um, an upcoming 4th of July page or a Memorial Day page. Um, there is also, so there's an XOXO border, and what I really like about that is you have the outline of the XOXO, that's the border stamp, and then um, Ellie has also given us the inner, the innards of the X and the O, so you could do that multi-tone, or you could stamp it in a black outline and then um, put the color on the inside, or the reverse, which, whichever you prefer. Uh, and then, uh, oh, there's also... Um, a plus sign um, and that's at the bottom in the green that I've used. I did not use that anywhere else but that is also one of the vellum stickers. So there's a lot of repetition of these borders throughout this kit which is really cool because that way you can tie it all together um, really nicely. So I am popping up three of these hearts on double-sided foam. Um, again, for some texture and some variety to the page. When you've got all of these horizontal elements, if they're just all flat to the page, it it's 2D. Um, obviously, it's 2D, but when you pop some of these things off, it adds a little bit more texture, which adds that interest and, and movement in the page. So this is where I want to get a little bit more of the texture, and I'm going to use these puffy stickers here. That particular phrase there says, remember this. Um, I believe the next one I'm going to use is that green, and that says happiness found here. It's harder to read in the video, um, or at least on the sides of the video that I'm looking at as I'm doing the voiceover. And I like the way that that scallop provides it's not a solid line, obviously, it's a scallop, um, and so just provides a little bit more texture to the top there, and it's not all just this flat horizontal movement across the page there. It gives you something to kind of grab onto. Um, so those are the tiny dots. These are the warm tones. Last month we got the cool tones. And so again, I'm going to stick with tone on tone or depth of tone on tone um, and stick those. I put one, two, three, four, five, six of them. And I actually go and get um, some of the cool tones too, just because um, I, I really needed a few more going down the page. Now I wanted somewhere to house the title and I'm not actually going to work on the title here because I kind of got stumped by it. Um, I've got so many phrases on there with the good things, remember this, that I wasn't sure how I wanted to title it. But I am going to, um, it's going to become Hello Gamer. Uh, Gamer, I'm going to use the white Jane Tile Alphas in that label that I just, the blue label that I just put down. And then Hello is actually going to come from the innard of the metal die that is released this month. Um, there's several words there, uh, but I use the innards of that from a previous layout. It's also the double page layout that I created um, for Death Valley. Um, I really, really wanted to use some of the yellow. I love all of the yellow that was released this month. So I have that little teeny tiny label there, the yellow, um, and I really loved these acetate stickers as well. They're coming up. And so I'm just going to put an N, and for Nicholas um, is his name. Uh, I had thought I might try the title out of that, but I didn't like the yellow on um, the photo. It was hard to see. I really think these acetate stickers look best when they're actually stuck on white. So that also fills up that gap there. Um, I didn't want all of the gap filled, but I want some, wanted some of that white space to be covered. 
So from the inside of that, that heart die, that uh, digital cut that's up at the top there, I saved those teeny tiny hearts and I used a few of those at the very top to wrap up that layout. So that, my friends, is my Stamping Emphasis large photo layout created using the May Ellie Studio kit and add-ons. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to leave them in the box down below. Thanks for stopping in today. Enjoy the close-ups. I hope you are doing well and look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care.